Now, the outbreak of the revolt, as we discussed in the introduction of the lesson, the people have did some terrific acts. What was that action sequence? We discussed in detail. Now, let us see step by step. We saw how is a society during that period, and what is subsistence crisis. Subsistence crisis has always been in France. Now, the situation was from the king's point of view. There is no other alternative left out other than doing taxation. So we need to increase the taxes. That's the only way in order to maintain the credit balance or in order to have the treasury full in France. So the kings cannot increase the taxes as per their will and wish. They have to assemble the estates general and then they have to take voting which approves the taxation and then it becomes a formal taxation procedure complete. Then they go ahead and pay the taxes. So now the estates general was asked to gather which gathered in 1614 for the last time and after nearly 175 years it was called on 5th of May 1789 to pass the proposals of taxation. So as the estate general rules dictates that every estate will have representatives gathering and then they discuss on this issue, they go for voting and then they finalize the proposal of taxation. So the three estates are being invited, the resplendent hall at the town of Versailles became a venue for these people. It welcomed all the delegates, 300 delegates from estate 1, 300 delegates from estate 2 are sitting right opposite to each other while the third estate people are having 600 representatives who are standing at the back of the first estate as well as the second estate. Only the well-educated elite group people of the third estate are allowed inside. The small peasants, the workers, the women, the children are denied entry into the hall at that time. So they all wrote their problems, their request in the form of letters and these 600 representatives are catching those letters which accounted nearly for 40,000 letters in their hands. So all the three estates got gathered and king came up with the proposal of increasing the taxation. But as people started to read the books which are having social awareness and according to the book written by Jean Jacques Rousey in his book Social Contract he mentions rightly that the general will of the people has to be taken into consideration by giving equal value for all of them. But as per the traditions of estate general, every estate, it may be the first estate, second estate or the third estate will have the right to vote for only one vote per estate. So now the third estate people want to have more number of votes in order to get their voting approved in the estate general hall. But the king decided to go up with the old practice. As a king decided to go up with the old practice, the third estate people are very unhappy and dissatisfied with the king's decision and they started to move out of the town hall. They moved away from the estate general's meeting on that day. So this happened in the estate general hall. King ordered for the meeting after nearly 175 years. On the 5th of May 1789, all gathered. Each estate has sent their representatives like first estate, 300 people, second estate, 300 people sitting right opposite to each other and behind these people we have the third estate people. The third estate people are a total of 600 representatives who are having 40,000 letters given 
by the people those who are denied entry into the hall giving their requisitions and their problems in the form of letters when the king appealed to go with the old tradition of single estate single vote custom the third representatives or third estate representatives started to raise up the slogans as per the social contract book written by rozi that everyone has to be given equal right to vote so that their voting can be approved bilaterally but the king who decided to go ahead with the old practice did not agree and decided that we will give only one estate one vote so this made the people of the third estate to feel very much annoyed sad and depressed and with angry with the decision of the king they left the hall and moved outside now the outbreak of the revolt we discussed that all have been ordered to gather in the estates general so the three estates have sent their representatives the king decided to go with the old tradition were giving each estate one vote now as there is no choice left out in order to protest the decision of the king the third estate people moved out of the assembly hall and they gathered on 20th of june 1789 in the indoor tennis court as they assumed that they are the true representatives of the france nation and they decided that they will draft a constitution which will definitely limit the powers of the king especially the monarch and constitution will be the supreme and people will have the authority to decide what is right and what is wrong so in this intention the people those who drove the third estate people on this large gathering were two people merabiu and abicius merabiu is basically belonging to a noble family and but still he has the idea and the views that this special privileges has to be waived off from our families and he gave many speeches inspiring people about the thoughts and his ideology and we also have abicius abicius is basically a priest and he wrote many pamphlets encouraging the people to know what is the third estate the real true face of france is the third estate the third estate comprises of 90% of the entire population of the france so this motivated words of merabiu and abicius made the people to gather on 20th of june 1789 and they decided that they would not come out of the tennis court until they finish drafting of the constitution which will definitely restrict the authorities of the king and later when the people are third estate representatives are very busy in drafting the constitution the villages and the people were struck with the severe bad weather conditions and the severe situations made the people on 14th of july to come and blast the bastel palace after the bastel palace has been blasted and it was broken into small small fragments and these fragments were sold in the market the rumors were also spread that in the villages the lord of the manor manor is the representative of the king who collects the taxes from the village people and he lives at a place called chetiox the official residence of a manor where we have the hoarded grains and also the documents where every villager has to pay the amount the details everything will be kept there so they heard a message or a rumor that the king sorry the lord of manor has taken help from the king and brought a uh, brigands who are coming to destroy the crop which is on rice and then torture the people so the angered people went took the hoes and the sickles and then pitch folks went in a mass gathering to destroy the chetiox and they completely destroyed the chetiox 
grabbed the hoarded grains and burnt the manorial documents completely and after destroying them they forced the manors to leave away their homes and they occupied that manors which resulted that many of the manors left the country many of them took shelter in various other neighboring countries so the moment when the situations are going on they became from severe to worst and then now the entire france was angry with the ideology of the king the idea of putting taxes on a third estate which is actually a burden to them even the king knew the point because the first and the second estate people do not pay any tax because they are exempted from the taxation while the third estate people who are really facing lot of problems because of severe bad weather because of poverty there is a lot of situation where the people could not even buy a piece of bread instead of helping the poor people the king is planning to increase the taxes on the third estate people this concept this special privileges raised the anger of the third estate people resulting in blasting the bastille palace and also clearing the chatiya palaces or the official residence of the manors and made it completely clear that the anger of the people has been shown in action to the king so finally the constitution was drafted and king after looking at the reactions of the people people becoming so violent and was not left out with any other option other than accepting the constitution agreed that constitution is supreme than him on 4th of august 1789 so with this france becomes a constitutional setup so what did they decide did really king accept or any other conspiracies behind this let's find out if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus